Hello, fabulous Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month. It has its fair share of tension. I will tell you that right out of the gate. And especially at the beginning of the month, a full moon has especially tense energy to it. But once we move past the middle of the month, things do change remarkably so. And fortunately for you as well. And I do want to put things into context right out of the gate. It is going to be next month that we are going to have a powerful new moon in your sign. And that new moon is a very fortunate one for you and as a general energy as well. But I do think that there is a bright new beginning filled with power and promise and stable success coming up for you right around the corner. Now, I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way, of course, but I wanted to put that out there first and foremost because it's going to be important to keep that in perspective in light of the energy that's there in the early part of the month. So what is there as we begin the month is a full moon. The full moon will perfect right around the third of the month, but we will feel this energy right out of the gate and we will feel it building, certainly. Now, what is interesting about this full moon is that it is going to set up a T-square with Uranus. And this is a strong energy of tension, a feeling as if things are changing very quickly, perhaps out of nowhere. And this can be personal insights and understandings, but there's an emotionality at this time and emotional reactions that feel very strong. For you, this full moon is taking place in a part of the sky that has to do with your daily life. So whether this is your workplace, the type of work you're doing, the people that you interact with, whether this is how well you are taking care of yourself. As I see this, this is cold turkey kind of energy. This is dramatic change, people leaving kind of energy that can happen. And so again, this is playing out in your day-to-day -day life. So this can be a coworker, a client, a customer behaving in ways that are unexpected, perhaps even erratic. Uh, this can also be the departure of a coworker that feels very sudden. Now, it may also be the case that this is a change of role for you, a change of projects for you, perhaps a project that you have been working on very dramatically, very quickly, goes in a completely different direction, or perhaps comes to a close, freeing you up to do something else. So these are some of the possible ways in which this energy can play out. Now, this part of the sky having to do with how well you care for yourself, well, as I said, cold turkey energy, and this can be a change of habits that comes about through an epiphany through some understanding that feels sudden, but in some ways can wash you clean from habits that perhaps you've been continuing for a while, but now are ready to change and may change very quickly at that. As we navigate later in the month, it is going to be right around the 19th of the month that we are going to have this month's new moon. What a difference a few weeks makes. This is a very beautiful energy playing out here. It is a new moon in the sign just before yours. This is a part of the sky that has to do with karmic blessings and karmic closures as well. This is about creating space for the new and the next to find you, but it also represents good things showing up for you without you necessarily needing to go out there and make it happen. Now keep in mind all month, Mars, Retrograde season is active. Mars is not retrograde though. Mars is in shadow. Next month is gonna go retrograde. But this month is going to be making key connections with other power players of tension. And that is why this new moon is going to be that much more refreshing because it is speaking in supreme harmony with Mars. And what that tells me is in spite of, or even in the midst of some challenges, some questions, there is still a sense that things can change very quickly and to your advantage, especially given these windows that can show up. It will be the next day that your ruling planet Mercury will enter your sign, and this is going to be you feeling better, you being more clear about who you are, 
what you really want in your heart of hearts, what matters to you most, what matters to you first. And this is part of setting the stage for that very fortunate new moon set to come up in the middle of September. Now, where it comes to matters of love, before I talk about this month, let me just put things into context. It is going to be next month at the very beginning of September that we are going to have a full moon in your opposite sign. Big moment for you in the context of love you understanding where you are in love and why differently. Now that may be energy you are feeling before the month is even over. You'll feel that energy growing, a sincere desire to know yourself more deeply as reflected in the eyes of another. But for this month, there are a few things that are happening that are important. The biggest is Venus changing signs. Venus has spent an unusually long time in the same part of the sky. That's because of the larger Venus retrograde season that is now over as we begin this month. But it is going to be August 8th that Venus is going to change signs, moving into a friendly and easy and social part of your sky. This is going to allow you to feel like you're able to make heart level connections that also have a sense of genuine companionship to them as well. But remember, whatever it is that happens, the big moment, the big shifts are coming up for you next month and love may very well be a part of that energy. So much of what's happening now, I feel like it is about insight and learning so that ultimately when those changes are happening for you very soon, you're able to integrate them and understand them and really allow them to set your life in very bold and fortunate directions. But now, speaking of this month of August, where it comes to matters of love, if it is that you are open to meeting someone new, well, it does look like there are going to be opportunities to engage other people, whether that is through social distancing or online, but it may very well be that through friends or with a friend, you feel a love connection starting to grow stronger. Just keep in mind as we move later into the month, uh, there may be some sense of an inconvenient attraction playing out between you and a friend or perhaps someone that a friend connects you to. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I do feel like this very light social energy can have you feeling uh, that much more friendly, uh, that much more connected to this person, which is lovely to encourage the feeling of the love growing. However, just be mindful, especially in the later days of the month, because it does look like that is going to be a time where you may have some mixed feelings around uh, the social circle that this person uh, connects with or also there may be some sense of mixed feelings around uh, how your friends feel about this person that you're getting to know. And for those of you in an established bond, I love the energy early in the month, uh, especially once Venus changes signs, and that energy does suggest that you are enjoying your partner's company. There's a real sense of camaraderie and friendship growing between the two of you, but it is gonna be later in the month where there might be a moment that feels as if a friend has a particular opinion or perhaps has an influence over the partnership that the two of you share privately with you and your partner. And it's going to be up to you to decide to protect the relationship in some way. Now, I'm not saying there's anything uh, nefarious or anything bad going on. Uh, and I, I use that term bad very loosely or technically, however you want to understand it. It's not a technical term, of course. But what I mean by that is sometimes it's just um, advice that a friend might give that may miss key nuances. And it is going to be about you understanding that what it is you feel for your partner, what it is you understand, but what is happening between you and your partner, that may very well be only for the two of you. What I love about this month for you, I love that your ruling planet Mercury is moving back into your sign. Mercury works really well in your sign, is able to bring forward his very best qualities. And that means that you may very well feel like you are able to bring forward your very best qualities as you move later into the month. It is gonna be at this time that you get more clear as to who you are and what truly matters to you most, what truly matters to you first. And that sense of clarity in and of itself helps you to align with those very things 
that much more powerfully. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.